of the plate. Now I know you're going to shout at me because you can't see. Can't see over here. Can you see here? Right, okay. So let's move it over to here. Got me right to that. Bring it over. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got one sheet of pasta at the bottom and um, we're going to put another sheet here. I'll just put this for a minute. I'll fold it along in the center. Okay, so bang in the middle. Got a cutter here. Um, you're just rolling it through. And then you bring it down uh, as you go and it gets it thinner and thinner. Ah. You want it nice. You, you want your pasta nice and thin. It's safe to see through. We've got some soaked water here. Probably going to need to get a little bit more boiling water back, back on in a minute. I've got a sauce here, which if you unwrap, I can talk about. Now what we do when once we've made the pasta is we always blanch it in boiling water for 30 seconds and that, what that does is just seals the pasta and then you can keep it out on a tray already made. So use your thumb, get a nice round shape, you can see that? So sandwich between two very thin pieces of pasta, like so. Shape it with your thumb, push the outside together so you have a, a thin edge, otherwise you're going to have a double thickness edge to one ply of the pasta on top of the, the, meat, the meaty, wonderful scallop and lobster fat. I'm taking a, just, what else, just taking a, a cutter, it's quite nice to do this with a, a crinkle sized cutter, but uh, just cut evenly around the pasta, like so. And the good thing about doing it on the king food is that it doesn't stick to the table. So it also it makes it easy to handle. So there you go, you've made your wonderful little raviolo. Now we're going to cook that about five minutes, but before I cook it for five minutes, I'm going to just show you the sauce. I don't know if I have a, a whisk anywhere, do we? That makes okay, fine, it's fine. All right, good. Great, so we've got a little bit of diced butter. The bow mix is ready to go. I don't need all of this uh, sauce, and it's going to take a bit of time. Now this is the bisque. Now we've taken the carcass of the shellfish and we've made a wonderful bisque but before what we've done is we sweated down some, ar some aromatic vegetables, so some mirepoix is what we call it and uh, we've used here um, some carrot, onion, a little bit of fennel and sweated it down with some leek. We've added some spices, some cu cumin, cardamom, a little bit of star anise, thyme, bay leaf, some tomato cooked that right down, separately we've roasted off the lobster carcass and then we've added the both, both of them together and made a wonderful bisque, cooked it out for about 20 minutes. That seems a lot of butter, I can assure you that, well it is a lot of butter, but in the context of <laughs> the context of the dish, we're just going to thicken the sauce, we call it Monte au beurre, but also, you know when people talk about the sort of cappuccino effect on, on sauces, this is a bow mix, any good blender will do. Um, but this is a barrel mix, and you see how by just rocking in the sauce, just by you get this wonderful cappuccino. Now it just takes a little bit of lemon juice to cut through the butter, and some salt, and a little bit of pepper, okay, and there's our sauce is made, simple as that. Now the cabbage here, we're going to cook up a little bit of cabbage first. I've got some. And we're going to put this lobster on a little bit of cabbage, so we're going to create a nice little base for the uh, raviola. And we're going to just cook off some spring cabbage. And we're going to put a little bit of butter. Okay, that makes a bit too much. Got me all conscious now. And I could do with another pan of water, really. But, um, so, it's exciting. There we go. Also, we're going to just dry off some of that uh, moisture there, okay? And season it with a little bit of soap and pepper. Now, seasoning is really important, guys. Um, a lot of people don't use soap and pepper enough. I know you've got to be careful about soap you're putting in, but the Romans had it sorted. They used to pay people in soap. That's where the word salary came from. And um, it's so important 
juice seasoning, just the heightened flavours in, in the food itself. The water's boiling at the back. We're just going to drop in our raviolo, which I've made. Just put off that token. Now you want to just make sure that um, it doesn't, when you first put it in, you can stir the water just so it doesn't sit on the bottom. Okay, so again, just a little bit of, all right. Calm down, I'm hurrying up. So, um, a bit of soap water. Now if you're cooking lots of pasta, then put a bit of olive oil in there and they say that stops it from uh, sticking together when you're doing things like uh, tagliatelle and, and, and other shapes that you can get. Now we've got a, a ring here, which we're going to put in the pan. We've got our raviolo, which is boiling away. It will be in a minute. This pan of water, Rob, if you just sort of swap it and all that. Yeah. Thank you, that'd be great. Now the cabbage is just sweating down. I'll go... Oh yeah. Good. Well, good thinking. Right, I've got a tray, which I'll go in there, so... So, I'd like to work on, on a tray. We've got... Uh, sauce over here which is great lobster cooking tray here for the cabbage just drain it off any excess fat go there just squeeze out the extra moisture and then cabbage cooks cooks down it into quite a, a soft buttery texture well not buttery texture but a lovely uh, uh, lovely texture not, not, not too much crunch to the not to the cabbage itself and then into that you've got a little bit of butter and seasoning, which is great. We've got our allegret mushrooms, which you can forage if you like, which we're just going to put on the outside to the Juro mushrooms. And in there we've got olive oil, shallots, um, some mushrooms Juro, chanterelle might you may know them as as well, and um, lemon juice, just to pickle them. So basically that's all allegret means is in the style of Greek. And that style is with um, a little bit of vinegar, pickled. Now we've got a little bit of chopped truffle, which is black truffle, which is a bit decadent of me, but why not? Sauce, which uh, we uh, made with a bisque and uh, just added a little bit of butter, salt pepper at the last minute, touch of lemon juice just to help cut through there and that, that was that style that we call cappuccino I've also got some lobster oil the lobster oil has literally come off the top of the cooking of the bisque itself looking good right, good, ah there we are oh I forgot something from the scholar but never mind I've just seen it right, so just clean the plate now the lobster takes five minutes and I'm just going to remove that, put that on top like so, and a little bit of lobster oil over and around, and then finally the cappuccino. Don't want this too hot, generally about 80 degrees, otherwise all the bubbles burst. We just put a wonderful little bit of sauce. It's quite intense this sauce, so you don't need a lot. With the oils and everything else, it's great. And a bit of mushroom if I had one. What do I do with it? Oh, no, it's okay, here you go. I'm being artistic, so don't worry. With one on the top, maybe a little bit of that chervil, nice, just a bit of herb. And, um, there we go. Lobster raviolo on a bed of cabbage with Jules pickled alligator. There we go.